Well, yes, Angela Merkel has acknowledged that the coronavirus pandemic is the toughest crisis that the European Union has ever faced um, and therefore has really ambitious plans to try and overcome it. And I think um, many in Europe will probably be quite glad that uh, Angela Merkel, who's uh, the longest running leader in Europe and known as a figure of stability in Europe, will be sort of guiding the way when Germany takes over the European Council presidency out of this crisis with ambitious plans plans to, for, to overcome, uh, to over, overturn and renew health systems in Europe, but also to spend billions of euros to uh, help beleaguered uh, nations. And even if this means in part mutualizing uh, European debt, something which we never would have heard the Germans agreeing to even a couple of years ago. But I think Angela Merkel has really learned some lessons over the past few years that uh, the European Union can prove quite stable, that immediate action is needed in reactions to crisis. And also, it helps to loosen the purse strings when needed. Other important topics over the next six months uh, for Germany and for Europe will be climate change, uh, asylum policy, and also foreign policy. And here, I really think we will see Angela Merkel's very well-honed diplomacy skills come to the fore. Uh, summits between the EU and Africa and EU and China will now have to be streamed online in the autumn. But um, Angela Merkel has very ambitious plans for these, especially when it comes to China. She she wants to make, retain China as, as a competitor and pre, uh, pre, uh, prevent uh, China's too great influence over Europe, but also wants it to remain an important partner to Europe. A difficult line to tread, but we do know that Angela Merkel is very well respected in China, so perhaps she is the best woman for the job when it comes to this.